why should I be even waiting or feeling so entitled for the next individual to do something or give me something that I could give to myself? We gotta stop, you guys. We just gotta stop. It makes life so much easier when you just learn how to be self-efficient. When you become self-efficient, self-nourishing, you a bad motherfucker, okay? and welcome back to my channel it is lee it is lee and i am soaking in this scenery look at my background look at these clouds i feel like i'm holding like look i present to you the clouds it's like i can you know those pictures where okay whatever welcome back you guys it is still vlogtober i'm like only like four videos in uh, never mind that never mind that though <laughs> I'm trying I am still putting my best foot forth you know so here we are on maybe this might be video number four for October but anyways I am back make sure you guys like subscribe and hit that bell for more notifications but today's video and topic is three scary truths about you and me that can really help us in our journey I know it has helped me tremendously so I wanted to share to you guys three scary truths that I've learned over my days of living <laughs> but number one number one might be a hard pill to swallow but it is so true as adults, you guys, no one owes us shit. No one owes us shit. No one owes us anything. Like, the miss, just to dismiss the whole entitlement shit, because, like, nah, the world owes you nothing. But, here's, like, the great part to it. You, you, you owe yourself you owe yourself to go do, get, be, whatever you want. But do not, do not put the expectations on another to do anything for you. You know, and a lot of resentment that people have for, for individuals, it comes from expectations <laughs> that we put on people. And it's just, you're setting yourself up. You're setting yourself up. Better yet. It's so much rewarding when you do things for yourself. It's so much rewarding and you allow others. And when you do things for yourself, you make other individuals want to do things for you as well. So overall, yes, number one is no one owes you shit because no one owes you anything, anything. You owe it to yourself to get any and everything that you desire and you want out of life, you guys. And when I think of it in that manner, it's like, oh, perfect. Like, even when it comes to my business, I owe myself to get up early, to prep early, to get better every week. I owe it to myself when it comes to my body and my health to, if I want to look a certain way, go to the gym, do the necessary things, eat the proper way. I owe it to myself if I want the proper love life to love myself in the proper way and have the best self-care management that I can have as an individual for myself. Like, come on, do you get where I'm going? We owe it to ourselves to give what we seek from others to our damn selves because in all honesty you can do be have anything you can but nobody gonna do that shit for you that runs in and number one really collides with number two and number two is you are your own responsibility no one is gonna fucking save you no one is gonna fucking save you okay 
these are some hard truths. That's why we call them scary truths for the Vlogtober, okay? But they're self-management management truths that will help you tremendously in your life and in your growth and expansion, honestly. Like, I feel like number one really helped me out a whole fucking lot. A whole lot. We put too much expectations and too much on another individual. And when I when I really think about it, when you already have a plate full and you barely finishing your shit. Now we know we barely finishing our plate for the day and we still going to sleep scratching and figuring out how the hell we gonna finish that and what we gotta do for the next day. Yet we have the requirement and we have the we put so much responsibility for the next to do such for us when we not even knocking off our own to-do list like make it make fucking sense no let me take care of me i got me i want you to have you you know and anything else from others is really extra and i'm very appreciative of all the extras in my life but it's more rewarding when i become my own extra and and <laughs> I, i'm 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 thankful for my own willingness to do for my damn self, okay? So, like I said, number two, no one's going to save you. No one's going to save you. I mean, hey, I'm just telling you guys some scary truths. <laughs> no one's going to save you. You are your own responsibility. And that's another beautiful truth. Like, cool, okay, I'm an adult. Let me do the necessary things that's required for me to be in a place that I, I, I desire to be, to um, get in the, do the doors that I desire to walk in, to obtain the things that I wish to have. I owe it to myself to go get it. It's no one else's responsibility because no one else is gonna give it to me. And why should I wait? Because someone else is in a better position than me to give me something because, oh, they may be a close individual of mine or I'm a family member or shit, even my mom or dad. Why should I be even waiting or feeling so entitled for the next individual to do something or give me something that I could give to myself? We gotta stop, you guys. We just gotta stop. It makes life so much easier when you just learn how to be self-efficient when you become self-efficient self-nourishing you are a bad mother okay because as a, as a, as someone that was very codependent of another <laughs> the or is different when you step over here in this lane this I can do all things and I can handle things and I can do shit my damn self the or is different the breath is the, the, the air is different The sunshine. You really can allow other individuals to just simply be because, once again, ding, 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 I got me. And how beautiful, how much, how beautiful is that? You'd be like, I don't know if I can hold me down. Better yet, practice on holding your damn self down. <laughs> Practice on being your own ride or motherfucking die, okay? You willing to go all out, give it all up for the next, but when you obtain that same love for yourself and willingness and drive and ambition to do some shit for your damn self, oh, then you a bad bitch. You a bad man. You unstoppable. So let's knock out those goals. And let's allow other individuals to just be themselves and be who they are. Because at the end of the day, it has nothing to do with you. You have a goal and you have a responsibility for your own self. And that's all you should be worried about. I really only worry about my damn self. And I feel like I'm so at peace because I allow other individuals to be. And I simply pay attention to myself. I'm aware of myself. You know, I don't take too much consideration of what the other got going on because that's not my place i just have love and wish everyone well that's all i could do but who talking right now i require a lot from my damn self okay from my damn self 
So I, I no longer put that responsibility on no other. Because I know what I need to do for me. I, I don't even have that list no more of what the next need to do for me. I need to do for me. And since I've been knocking them and checking them lists every day for the things to do for Lee, you know, it's like, damn, I'll be walking out full, full cup, overflowing. I don't look from another. Like, I don't, you know? And that's peace, you guys. Overall, the answer to all things, life, this, this every, I mean, in my eyes, all things is well. But number three is, like, when it comes to these circumstances, these situations, these problems we have, these, all of that, 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 that confusion, that, that, nah, what the fuck is going on? Like, all of that. This shit we've been seeing, this shit is going on in our, our environment, in our cities, in your towns. Like, the answer to all of that willy-nilly shit. To all mankind problems. Is a shift of fucking consciousness. Is not, you need to go fix the other one, tell the other one what the fuck need to be done. No, 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 no. Number three, until a fucking shift of consciousness or a change in self-belief of self con the, your self-concept of yourself as an individual, nothing in your life will change. Nothing in this bitch gonna change for you. Nothing. It's a hard pill to swallow. But once you swallow it, it's like the truth sets you free. Swallow it. Take the responsibility. But a shift of consciousness, a change in your belief, a change in your self-concept is needed for any, any external change or desire. That's the key. That's all that's needed. That's all that needs to be done. And how, like, it's like, cool. So I really don't have to go over here and strive and try to make this person do this. Go over here and think I gotta do this. I don't have to pull and strain and hard and suffering. No, 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 none of that. Start up here. Start up here. Everything starts in consciousness. A shift of consciousness is what's required. How you view the the situation, the individual, the objective, the form, whatever, that needs to change up here first. Once you change whatever up here, everything out here changes. So what's required for all this madness, this craziness, this, the, um, the, the certain situations that come up in your life, the disconnects to anything is a shift of consciousness. That's the answer. A change in your self-belief, a change in your self-concept of yourself. And after that is applied, <laughs> the gates of heaven shall open. It has to. It has to. But I wanted to... Those are three things that I know that I've been studying on, that I've been living by over these last... It's something I'm just living by, and I know I'm, I'm going to continue to live by that because I think it's so much truth behind everything that I said in my world. So I'm sharing it with you guys to see if it may apply and help you guys out in your world. Make it a beautiful one. If this video was any interesting and helpful in any way, I appreciate you guys. If you guys give this video a thumbs up, <laughs> like and subscribe and make sure you guys hit the notification for more videos. I'm wishing you guys all well, all well, love and so much love and light, love and light. Stop reacting and start creating. Start creating. I love you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Look at this beauty. Look at this. This shit is supposed to be fun. Have fun in this. Take responsibility of your life. Take ownership of your life. And just dwells as this, as this ugh, river flow endless possibilities let it all flow much love